In the news this afternoon, West Vaco management and union members are talking over a possible settlement they hope to reach before a strike ever becomes possible. And there's a state lawmaker who's going to go on trial in October on charges of food stamp fraud. We'll have stories coming up next on Eyewitness 2 News. It's Sight and Sound's big GE saving sale with GE washers below $2.99. GE dryers below $2.99. GE electric stoves below $2.99. GE microwaves below $2.99. GE refrigerators. I know below $2.99. Oh, Ben, is a full-size 17 cubic foot frost free. $6.99. Lower. $5.99. Lower. $4.99. Okay, below $4.99. That's at Sight and Sound, Somerville, Dorchester Road, and James Island, Four where it's hard to be the best, best but, but we, we keep, keep working, working at it. it. If you've been thinking about buying a new car, now's the right time. Because of special year and clearance payments direct to us from General Motors, you can buy a new Gene Reed Chevette for only $5.99 down and $112 a month. Or a new S10 pickup for only $6.99 down and $144 a month. That's right, a new Gene Reed Chevette for only $112 a month or an S10 pickup for just $144 a month. Now remember, these year and clearance prices are good only at Gene Reed Chevrolet, your volume dealer in Charleston. Citadel Mall brings a weekend of New York to Charleston, starring the Big Apple Menagerie. It's an exciting choreographed show presenting the very latest in fashion and hair design, featuring music from Broadway's biggest hits. It's exciting. It's the new fall styles, and it's all free. A weekend of New York. Another smash hit from Citadel Mall. We do more for you. WCBD TV2 in Charleston. Good afternoon, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Joan Mack is off tonight. In the news, the fight is over, at least temporarily. Beginning today, labor and management at West Vaco will sit at the negotiating table for another try at an agreement. Lisa LaFada has that story. Both parties are optimistic that differences can be resolved and agreement can be reached. In the interest of constructive progress in these negotiations, the company and the union have also agreed to suspend any further public comment so labor and management at West Vaco are finally sitting on the same side of the fence on at least one issue. No more information to the press when negotiations resume. Today's news blackout was on the heels of the United Paper Workers Union announcement that their 676 members had voted to strike after 10 days. That's unless West Vaco came up with a better contract offer. Local 508 and 1435, who represent the hourly employees of West Vaco, have passed a strike vote by an overwhelming majority vote, by the largest attendance ever of these two locals. The paper worker's previous contract was due to expire last June. Talks on the new contract crumbled when the company's, quote, final offer included a 7% pay increase, not as much as workers expected and the request that Christmas Eve and Christmas Day be work holidays instead of days off. As well, the company wanted to change the holiday overtime pay rate from double time to time and a half. Now, as the two groups sit down to make a renewed attempt at an agreement, West Vaco management says success will require some give on both sides. But until something breaks, no more public statements on the issue. And for today, for management and labor, no news is good news. Lisa LaFada, Eyewitness 2 News. Contract talks between industry and unions have become a fixture of American way of life. Jobs, profits, salaries, so much rides on them. Every day the confrontation takes place somewhere else. Which brings us to tonight's opinion poll question. It is, who seems to have the upper hand in contract negotiations these days? Many unions are making concessions to financially strapped companies. Some companies are threatening to close if their demands aren't met. So, who has the upper hand now? Tell us how you feel in our free non-scientific opinion poll. Call 884-4141. That's 884-4141. Operators are standing by to, to take your opinion until 715. The number again, 884-4141.
The Public Service Commission will be up for revision in January by the General Assembly. Under state law, providing for continual review of agencies, the PSC could go out of existence June 30th if the legislature does not renew its life. The commission has been the focus of controversy over recent telephone and electric and gas rate hike requests. Officials say lawmakers will be forced to review the PSC's rate-making authority, its method of election, and the practice of allowing utility rate increases to go into effect under bond. They're calling it catastrophic decision. The State Department of Social Services Board met last night and established new Medicaid reimbursement rates. Steve Overton reports a nursing home representative say the decision could put some patients out on the street. Grace Wish's mother is a patient at the Charleston Nursing Center east of the Cooper. She's worried about the DSS board action and says it's time for the state to keep its hands off nursing home payments when it's time to cut the budget. The DSS board last night set new reimbursement rates for nursing homes with Medicaid patients, patients whose care is paid for by the state. Nursing home representatives say the cutback amounts to over $25 million, harsh enough, they say, to force some nursing homes to drop their Medicaid patients. That possibility frightens Billy McLeod of Sullivan's Island. Her mother is also a Medicaid patient at the Charleston Nursing Center. 76-year-old Leela Sanders is completely paralyzed and almost blind. Billy says without Medicaid, her mother could never get the care she's getting now. She gets good care, but one person has to take care of about 30 some people and if they cut them anymore I just don't see how they can do it but it worries you to think that they might miss the care that they need while some nursing homes may have to discharge Medicaid patients over the DSS action whether that will be the case won't be known until nursing homes get their individual Medicaid contracts from DSS early next month Steve Overton eyewitness 2 news well, with hat in hand, several departments have gone back to the State Budget and Control Board to request more money. Administrators in the Department of Education are asking for an 11% increase, or $88 million. A major portion of that money would be used to boost the Gifted, Talented Student Program. And the Department of Social Services says it needs an increase to make up for federal cuts in the Medicaid program. While the DSS request is for an additional $30 million, an agency spokesman says the full amount needed depends on how much Congress cuts state funds for Medicare. Budget cuts may also force the state to limit free immunization shots for school children. More than 96% of this state's school-aged children get the shots, but... The program doesn't have enough money to carry it through December 31st. The vaccinations have been free to children regardless of family income. While a fee is a possibility, a program administrator is optimistic that no one who needs a free shot will go without. State lawmaker Theo Mitchell will go on trial October 11th on charges of food stamp fraud. Paul Brown reports the date was set today after Mitchell entered a plea in a Greenville court. Mitchell, accompanied by his attorneys, arrived at the federal courthouse just minutes before he was to appear before a federal magistrate for an arraignment. He's charged with illegally acquiring some $5,300 worth of food stamps during 1982 as payment on a judgment. The four-count indictment carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison and a $40,000 fine. Mitchell, a 44-year-old Greenville attorney, has been a member of the State House since 1974. At the conclusion of the five-minute proceeding, Mitchell spoke with reporters. I entered a plea of not guilty, which I'm not. I will be acquitted uh, if this case goes to trial. I want to thank all the people who came out this morning uh, to show their support for me. And I want to tell the people who haven't been able to understand what's going on, why I haven't been able to make any comments, that to keep the faith, that God is still on the throne, and we will prevail. That's all I have to say, gentlemen. Mitchell's indictment came on the heels of a 16-month undercover investigation into food stamp fraud in South Carolina. His trial is set for October in Columbia. Paul Brown, Eyewitness News, Greenville. Police arrested 14 people on gambling charges and confiscated about $1,500 in cash today at a downtown Charleston grocery store. Police officers were making a routine beer and wine license inspection shortly before noon when they found a numbers game being operated in the back room of a family grocery store. 13 people were charged with lottery violations and they posted bonds of $214 each and were released. The other suspect was charged with operating a game of chance and will be given a bond hearing sometime this evening. Berkeley County authorities say one person was killed and three others injured today in a two-car wreck north of Monk's Corner. 
The accident happened about 7.30 this morning, about a mile south of Bono on Highway 52. The name of the victim has not been released. Up next on Eyewitness 2 News, a movie company heads into town for filming next week. And some local missionaries need help so they can continue to give help. One supermarket may be featuring ketchup this week. Trouble is, there's a limit of one, so you can't stock up. Another store may have a good price on green beans, but you have to buy $10 worth of groceries to qualify. At this store, you don't get a bargain on cooking oil unless you save up their coupons. At Food Town, we don't have limits or coupon gimmicks, and there's no minimum purchase required. That's why one million people shop Food Town every week. There's a knee slapping foot stomping hometown reunion going on at your local Carolina Olds Network dealer. Every new Olds in the Carolinas is priced, priced, priced. Got to make room for the 83s. So your hometown member of the Carolina Olds Network's got finger licking good prices. Every Oldsmobile, all 8,000 up in price to sell. Come on down, but you better hurry before all you get is leftovers. Sale price is good only through August. Every Olds price to get up and go. It's a Carolina Olds Network hometown reunion. Y'all come. Whether you're headed for school or not, you'll find back-to-school savings in Walmart's Health and Beauty Aids Department. Suave shampoo and conditioner leaves your hair feeling clean and looking healthy in a variety of scents, from balsam to golden wheat and honey. Both come in a 28-ounce economy size for just $1.37 each. And Bosch and Loam Saline Solution for cleaning soft contacts is now only $2.24. Walmart, number one in back-to-school savings, now through Saturday. Come into Walmart, everyday low prices. Bye, Mom. Thanks for the sandwich. You know, between lunch boxes, afternoons, and Saturdays, my family eats over 25 sandwiches a week. And since I want them to get good nutrition, I make all those sandwiches with my favorite soft and fresh sunbeam bread. You know, sunbeam is made from a special blend of America's finest spring and winter wheat for flavor and nutrition. The kids love it, Jim loves it, and with 25 sandwiches a week, I love it. Soft and fresh sunbeam bread made with the finest ingredients. While Wall Street is thrilled with economic developments of the last few day days, many people on the grassroots level find little to be happy about in those trends. Andrew McCann's reports that is especially true for one local missionary group that will close its doors if financial help doesn't come soon. Most people have probably never heard of the voice of prophecy, but word of this mission has spread rapidly to the more than 600 homeless, destitute people who come through here each month in search of help. Johnny Knight has a drinking problem, and he was wandering the streets of Charleston last week when he was picked up by police who thought he'd robbed a convenience store. You know, I wanted to go to a detox. I'd been drinking, you know, quite a bit. And me and my brother had a little squabble. And so I went to two places, and the last place recommended me here. Now the mission also finds itself in need of help. The director says they've taken out loans to pay the rent, and a generous landlord has allowed them to keep the mission open for months. Now, more than $2,000 in back payments are due. Betty Charles says theirs is not the kind of work that brings in a lot of money. As soon as a person is able to handle his own financial situation, he's encouraged to go on and make room for someone who can Therefore, the income that maybe we could get by keeping that person on is soon taken away. And Volunteers who donate money from their incomes have managed to keep the mission afloat. Ms. Charles says right now people's need for help is so great and it's important to keep doors open to people who think no one cares. The majority of them been around the circle and for some reason they didn't qualify to get into this program or they couldn't get into that ministry or this one was overcrowded and they end up here. If there is some way you can help the mission, call Voice of Prophecy at 744-1011. Adrell McCants, Eyewitness 2 News. That mission has been helping the community from its north area location for over a year and a half. Published reports tonight say six ships from the Charleston Naval Base may be involved in the evacuation of the Palestine Liberation Organization from Beirut this weekend. The six ships are currently patrolling in the Mediterranean, and the local newspaper says Pentagon officials say the vessels could aid a U.S. Marine amphibious unit near Crete when it sends men ashore to assist in the evacuation. The Navy also says at least one Charleston-based nuclear attack submarine is patrolling in the area. The filming of the movie The Lords of Discipline will begin Monday in Charleston. 
Paramount Picture production officials say shooting was scheduled to begin earlier this week, but production problems in England forced the delay. The production company is staying at the Charleston Sheraton Hotel, and the film is expected to generate about $200,000 in the area economy. The company will be filming in Charleston through September 3rd, and will be hiring about 100 extras. Although today was the brightest of days, Ben says to cheer up, because tomorrow looks good, is forecast when we return. Pickle Wiggly's beef to brag about is USDA choice boneless chuck roast at $1.79 a pound. We're Pickle Wiggly proud of our beef, and it's fully guaranteed only at Pickle Wiggly. GM rebates are back. We now have $400 factory rebates on Chevette's Citations and Cavaliers. And with a lot full of these models, we're really dealing. With no cash, just your rebate down, a new Chevette is just $44.90 or $132 a month. A new Citation or Cavalier is just $57.90 or $170 a month with no cash down. So don't wait. Get your $400 GM rebate and a super deal on a Chevette, Citation, or Cavalier now at Tom Parcell Chevrolet. Mothers like you have trusted Buster Brown for 83 years. And you've trusted Condon's to fit your child's shoes properly. At Condon's, we know how to fit Buster Brown's to your child's foot for maximum comfort and support. And Condon's has a wide selection of Buster Brown shoes in the latest styles and colors. Condon's, experience you can trust. And Buster Brown shoes at prices you'll love. Condon's, downtown and Ashley Plaza. Turn your car into a concert hall during Simmons Appliance Center's Car Stereo Sale on Pioneer. Right now, when you buy any Pioneer in-dash AM FM stereo with cassette from Simmons Appliance Center, we'll give you the matching Pioneer speakers absolutely free. That could save you up to $200 on any of these Pioneer stereos. And if you like, our professionals will install your new stereo while you wait. And remember to ask about our five-year warranty on parts and labor. You can only get this deal one place. Simmons Appliance Center, where else? Actually, not so nice a day today, but you say cheer up. Tomorrow's going to yes, be a great day. Indeed. The let's question is, is, what is the weekend going to be? Well, let's say one day of the weekend is probably going to be quite cloudy. The other day, Sunday, looks like it's going to be very, very nice. Uh, a couple you tell of us, things. Tell us later which day it's going to be. Yes, I'll tell you later I exactly knew. which day is coming up. But right now, let's talk about what's outside right now. 80 degrees, the temperature, and of course, the relative humidity, uh, quite humid at 79%. Barometric pressure, 30.10 inches, and the winds out of the north at 9 miles per hour. Today, our high got up to 83. The low this morning was 70. Record high for this day set back in 1940, 96 degrees. And you know, the record high temperatures are even getting cooler, so we know fall is on its way. The, uh, we've only had a trace of rain, both at the airport, the Customs House in here at Channel 2, and since midnight of last night. Look at our color radar right now. You can see, well, a few showers up to the north of us, some down in Georgia. Most of the rain activity, though, has moved off the coast. We're not expe expecting any sort of showers for the next two to three hours. How's that for a rhyme? Uh, we are going to see gradual clearing as some of the clouds start to move away and uh, on through until morning sometime tomorrow then we're going to have some, we'll have much nicer weather than we have had for the past day or so. On the state map, temperatures range from a low of 77 down in Beaufort up to, uh, let's see, where's the high spot? Well, let's try Columbia and Florence right now with 86 degrees. They've had sunshine today, uh, no rain, and also no rain in the upstate uh, regions. We just had it right along the coast, just light scattered, scattered showers here and there. That's why our temperature is just a few degrees cooler. Now, we're looking for a couple of things that have caused all this rain. Number one is high pressure up to the north of us. That's bringing us northerly flow of air, but also a trough of low pressure just off the coast. Now, these two combined to sort of bring these showers and, and what few showers and thunderstorms we have had and are experiencing up just a little bit to the north of us. That's why we say there is still a chance of showers tonight, although we are, will see some gradual clearing. Let's look at SkyTrack right now. We can see what is taking place. You look at the northern part of the state and you can see it's quite clear up here. Sky uh, cloud cover over the eastern of the coastal plain of South Carolina, but you can see no dark areas like we have off the coast. Those dark areas indicate the greatest possibility for rain. So we're just looking at a slight chance of rain. Uh, the darker the the darker the area on the satellite photograph, the higher the clouds are, and that gives us a greater chance of, of showers and precipitation. The weekend, though, starting to look cloudy for one day, perhaps on Saturday, but then clearing again Sunday. This frontal system up to the north will be moving very rapidly into South Carolina, uh, perhaps bringing some showers uh, with it 
maybe on Saturday, but indeed some cloudiness. But behind that, there's no chance of any uh, frontal any shower activity behind that front. So we are looking at clearing again on Sunday and perhaps even some sunshine on Sunday afternoon. Tide change is coming up in Charleston Harbor, a high tide at 923, along with some shallow tidal flooding as we have winds out of the north. The uh, low tide at 335, sun rises at 646 and sets at 8 o'clock. Now, uh, out in the harbor, one to two foot seas tonight, winds again out of the northeast around 10 to 15 knots. Coastal waters, a little bit different wind, uh, wind picture. South, 10 knots tonight, two to four foot seas. Our forecast on land, clear, gradual clearing, warm and humid tonight, a 30% chance of rain. Tomorrow we can look for, again, a 30% chance of showers, partly cloudy, some scattered showers here and there, a high of about 88. The outlook for five days, though, Sunday, some sunshine, partly cloudy the rest of the days. Monday, we might see some showers pop up again. Uh, temperatures remain in the upper 80s, and the weather word tomorrow morning, a soggy 76. Not as many 90s showing up in the forecast. No, not at all. Not at all. As I said, fall is approaching. Well, if you say so, it must be true. Up next in Eyewitness 2 Sports, the Braves do the usual, and the Citadel opens practice on the field today. Gold Star Chew in the back. One hell of a chew. Says so, right here on the package. Gold Star Chewing Tobacco. One hell of a chew. Get it. Today's the day. Today is the day to see your participating Toyota dealer and make the jump to Toyota. Every high-quality Toyota in stock, including his lowest-priced Toyota, must go to meet his August sales goal. In fact, there are 20 Toyotas sticker-priced under $67.89. Today's the day! Say, how much money can I save? How fast can you jump? <laughs> Time is running out on Toyota's biggest selling event of the year. Oh, the 1982 World's Fair. Some of what you're missing if you're missing the 1982 World's Fair. Hurry, only 11 weeks left. Are the windows locked upstairs? Yes. Can I bring Herm in? Hamsters get car seat. If you have call forwarding, you can touch a few buttons and your calls will go to another number. Can I bring my dollies too? Sure. Then your phone will be answered, so you can go away and worry less about what you've left behind. For more information or to order, call 1-800-241-6360 or your Southern Bell Residence Service Center. Ben Tackett started to talk about the fall coming upon us, and one other sure sign that it's almost fall is football. And in sports, you've been out with the Citadel boys today, huh? I have, and I'm looking for a big year from the Citadel. For years, one word was all it would take to describe the football program at the Citadel. The word, mediocre. Year in and year out, you could pretty much expect the dogs to finish around 500. But following the finish they made last year, the team goes into the 1982 season with high hopes. I'll go to bat for you. You come off and knock his head The dogs hit the practice field for the first time today, minus 14 starters from last year's team that finished 7-3-1. and one. That record, the best the Citadel has had in 11 years. Now, it's not easy to replace 14 starters, but the players are convinced they have the talent to do it and have their minds set on only one thing. Conference championship. That's about it. Simple as that. I ain't worried about all those um, seniors being gone because a lot of them that started were splitting time with juniors and sophomores. So I ain't worried about We'll have a lot of people to fill in. I mean, we got a lot of talented young kids, and uh, I'm not saying young because I'm a senior, but uh, got a lot of kids below us that are really good athletes and I think we should have a really good year. There's no doubt in my mind we shouldn't be contenders for this conference again. You know, after look, going over spring practice, I saw the people who filled the shoes of the stars that we lost last year and there's no doubt in my mind that we can have a better season than what we did last year. The only thing that's going to keep us back are going to be ourselves and our mental attitudes. It's there if we want it, you know, and from most of the guys' attitudes since we've come in yesterday, everybody's looking forward to the ch conference championship also. This year also starts a new era for the Citadel. Since the Southern Conference has been dropped to Division I AA, the team for the first time ever will now have a legitimate shot at a national championship. Well, the usual story in Atlanta last night, Montreal hands the Braves their 19th loss in 21 games. Again, it wasn't even close. First inning, Andre Dawson against Rick Camp, and there it goes, Dawson. 
loses number 16. Expos lead 3-0 after one. And look at the fans. Next thing you know, they'll be putting bags over their heads. This game was all Expos. Al Herbalski now in. Has the mad Hungarian been getting drilled lately? Here's Dawson again. And there goes number 17. I mean, Al looks mean, but his pitch is just... And the pitches by Al just aren't scaring anybody as Tim Wallach comes up against Al next. And uh, Wallach will nail one out of here. Final score, Montreal 12, Atlanta 2. Braves still only three and a half out of first because this afternoon Chicago beat L.A. 8-2. to two. Of course, the way the Braves are playing, they may not even finish above the 500 mark. Forget about winning the West. The Charleston Royals dropped six games out of first last night by losing the Greenwood 6-4. Spiro Saltis started for the Royals and made one major mistake. He hung a fastball to Tom Graciano with the bases loaded. Graciano promptly delivered it over the fence for a grand slam. It was for a zip. Royals, though, made it interesting. Chris Bryans with a towering two-run homer to right. The only question on this one was when would it come down. It finally does, and it was 4-2. Then in the fifth, Royals scored two more. One coming on a single by the red-hot Cliff Pastor, Nicky Cliff hitting over 350, leads the league. That tied the game at four, but the Pirates get two in the sixth and win at 6-4. The Royals and Pirates play two tonight. They'll close out the homestand, and Royals then will travel to Florence for a series with the first-place Blue Jays. Beth Daniel is shooting for her sixth win of the year as the World Championship of Golf is underway in Cleveland, Ohio. Should Daniel win the $50,000 first prize, she would break the all-time single-season money record on the women's tour, Daniel has won about $200,000 already this season. Not too bad. Right up there Not in your range. Not too bad at all. She's on a hot streak. Ahead on Eyewitness 2 News, our specs finds out why Charleston is such a great place to visit. It's 82 model clearance time now at E.M. Jones Chevrolet Olds in Somerville. High floor plan charges dictate that we move them out fast. Some prices will be too low to advertise publicly. You must come see. Our entire $1 million inventory of Chevrolets, Oldsmobiles, and trucks are on special sale from August 16th to August 31st. No hidden charges, no preparation charges, no destination or freight charges. Special interest rates available for the second annual inventory reduction sale at E.M. Jones in Somerville. Looks like you're getting ready for a big sale. Nope. Then what? Just win Dixie's every day, every week, weekly specials. I see WD Fresh Mix Fryer Parts are 45 cents a pound. Only at Win Dixie. And here's a special price on Clorox bleach, just 59 cents. Super brand orange, apple, or grapefruit juice is 99 cents. And you have specials like these every day? Every week, every month, every year. Win Dixie. Now more than ever. We're right for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Who are you? I'm New Banner Toilet Tissue, and you're gonna love me. Nobody loves toilet paper. Oh, but you'll love me, because I'm a soft touch. <laughs> hey, you are Please. soft. Oh, feels fluffy. What did I tell you? I've got a softness you'll love to touch. Oh, Ooh. nice. Yep, and look, I earned the good housekeeping seal. Hey, Wilma, you gotta touch this New Banner. I'm New Banner. You know, the soft touch. <laughs> Go ahead, touch. Hmm. Right now, at your Carolina Chevrolet dealers, it's 82 model clearance time. The lowest prices of the year in all Chevrolet cars and trucks. Look at the manufacturer's suggested retail price of our great American Cavaliers compared to the imports. It's 1812 less than Honda Accord, 2137 less than Toyota Corona. And that doesn't even include factory incentives of up to $400. Compare these cars side by side and look at the huge difference in price. 82 model clearance prices on all cars and trucks at your Carolina Chevrolet dealers now. According to reports, in spite of the slow economy, tourism remains up in the Charleston area. Feature reporter Spex Munzel spoke with some tourists today. Tourism is perhaps the biggest business that we have here in the Charleston area. And sometimes I think that we who live in Charleston really don't appreciate what we have. Today we came down to the market and we just asked some of the tourists who were visiting here why they visited Charleston. Well, we've just always been interested in the history and the beauty of, of Charleston. We've been here before, and we just always thought we'd like to come back and spend some time here, just look around and sightsee. And what have you found the most interesting about Charleston? I think the waterfront, the uh, battery. Um, I love the old houses. We've toured most of them. And, but I think we got out and walked yesterday, just walked the side streets. I just think the history is just fantastic. Well, it's nice and warm. And it's fun to be here. What, ha what have you liked seeing the most? The beach. Came to see the history in the shops. You like the, the shops the most, do you? Yes, sir. How about you? 
I like the houses, the old houses. Well, we were down in Folly Beach for the weekend. We just come up today to see the market and walk around, see if there's anything interesting here. Are you disappointed so far? Uh-uh, I like it. It's, it's real interesting, all the, all the shops. It's sort of like Faneuil Hall. I'm from Boston. It's sort of like Faneuil Hall in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And it's real interesting. I like it. So there you have it. A variety of reasons, every one of which are excellent. Spex Munzel, Eyewitness 2 News. Well, coming up at 11 tonight on Eyewitness 2 News, we'll have the results of our opinion poll, which asks you, the viewer, who seems to have the upper hand in contract negotiations these days, management or unions. To give us your opinion, call 884-4141 between now and 715. Our operators are standing by to take your calls. The news hour continues now with World News Tonight as the Soviet Union launched a woman into space today. That's Eyewitness 2 News up to the moment. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Tonight, our neighborhood is the city of Hanahan. This is Bill Fitzgerald again. If you see news in the making, call the Eyewitness News Line at 884-2222. It's a fact. Morris Dotson is South Carolina's number one dealer for imported used cars. We keep the state's largest selection, and we offer more every day. Dotsons, Toyotas, Hondas, Volkswagens. We've got them all, economy cars to sports cars. When you're talking import, come to South Carolina's number one used car specialist. Don't be late for the fabulous back-to-school values at Sky City this week. These Lady Wrangler jeans are over $5 off at just $10.88. Wrangler Kids jeans have double knees for extra wear, and they're only $7.88. Look into Wrangler's special rebates at Sky City, too. And these Danville full-size muslin sheet sets have two pillowcases, and they're just $16.77. At Sky City, find more savings every day. Sky City stores. The Muppets, weeknights at 7, only on Channel 2. Even a